Hey, I want you to stop watching this video. You heard me right, stop watching this video. Or at least stop watching videos after you watch this one. And I'll tell you why in just a moment. But first, there's a verse in the Old Testament of the Bible that says if we walk with the wise, we will become wise. But if we associate with fools, we will get in trouble. What does that have to do with watching videos? Well, sometimes I think we don't make enough space in our lives for real human interactions with other people. See, how we become wise is not simply through scrolling through endless social media feeds or watching as many videos as we can before we fall asleep. We become wise through real relationships. We rub shoulders with people who are going the same direction that we desire to go. With our faith, with our family, with our finances. And in the process, something happens inside of us where we begin to change. We get wiser, we grow stronger, we get more secure and more confident. We get clearer about the direction that God has for us. So what I want to encourage you to do is right after you watch this video, stop watching videos. And instead, pick up your phone, make an appointment with somebody, have lunch, play around a golf, meet up with somebody who's a little bit wiser than you are. Learn from them, engage in real conversations, take the mask off that you usually wear, not the one we're all used to during a season like this one, but the one that you use to cover up the real you. You're not going to get wise by scrolling with the shallow. You're only going to get wise by walking with the wise. So stop watching this video and go walk with someone wise. Thanks so much for tuning in to Thought in 3. If you enjoyed this content, make sure you subscribe, like, and hit that notification bell to stay up to date with everything happening at The Journey.